Hello Reds! Welcome back! Manchester United fans have spotted Andre Onana's unusual reaction to Bruno Fernandes's penalty last Wednesday night. The Red Devils lost 4-3 in Copenhagen, leaving their Champions League hopes hanging by a thread. Ten-man United had led 3-2 on the night, courtesy of Bruno Fernandes's 69th-minute penalty. But, in footage taken from the crowd, Onana can be seen not even watching the Portuguese's spot kick. Instead, the Cameroonian stared deadpan into the crowd. Sharing the clip to social media, a fan wrote, My manse mate took this vid last night. What on earth is Onana doing? To which another joked, Batteries died. A third quipped, It's giving off vibes when the teacher stops talking when the whole class is being too loud and just stands there waiting. While a fourth called it a temporal glitch. A fifth cruelly joked, He'd probably do a better job at saving the ball looking that way. While another added, Man looking like he's buffering. Man United had led 2-0 on the night courtesy of Rasmus Hoidlund's first half double against his former team. Disaster struck in the 42nd minute when Marcus Rashford was controversially sent off. Copenhagen were level by half-time, thanks to goals by Mohamed El Yunusi and Diogo Goncalves. Fernandez did reclaim the lead for United from the penalty spot. But late goals by Lucas Larager and the fittingly named Rooney Bardgaji consigned Eric Ten Hag's side to a damaging defeat. Meanwhile, Bruno Fernandes has provided a rallying cry as United look to make an unlikely qualification from their group. The midfielder said after the game, We have a mountain to climb, so we must climb. The United captain was seen breaking down after the game as he made his way back to the United dressing room. On the other side, Rashford could miss two games. Marcus Rashford could miss the remaining games of Manchester United's Champions League group stage. UEFA's disciplinary board will meet to discuss whether the ban will be one game or two, according to the Telegraph. The ban cannot be appealed. Elsewhere, Rasmus Hoylund has backed his manager after Wednesday's disappointing 4-3 defeat to Copenhagen. Before Rashford sending off, it was probably United's most encouraging performance of the season. Hoylund told Danish media, Everyone in the dressing room is behind Ten Hag, so I think it's just a matter of time before things go our way. Again and again. He is a clown. Copenhagen defender blasts Alejandro Garnacho after Manchester United fixture. Two members of FC Copenhagen's squad were unimpressed by Man United winger Alejandro Garnacho after Wednesday night's Champions League clash in Denmark. FC Copenhagen defender Dennis Vavro described Manchester United winger Alejandro Garnacho as a clown after claiming he attempted to scuff the penalty spot in Wednesday night's Champions League encounter at Parkin Stadium. The home side were awarded a spot kick in first-half injury time after Harry Maguire was deemed to have handled the ball inside the penalty area. The referee awarded the penalty following a VAR intervention. Diogo Goncalves stepped up and converted the kick from 12 yards, making it 2-2, nine minutes after Copenhagen had forced their way back into the game through Mohamed El Yunusi. United had earlier raced into a two-goal lead through a brace from Rasmus Hoylund. Copenhagen were awarded a penalty in the dying seconds of their 1-0 defeat by United at Old Trafford last month, which they saw saved by Andre Onana. But ahead of Jordan Larson taking the spot kick, Garnacho scuffed the penalty spot, sparking anger and frustration from the Copenhagen camp. Remarkably, Vavro has claimed the Argentine was preparing to do the same in the Danish capital, only for Kevin Dix to step in and block him. The Slovakian defender blasted Garnacho in a post-match interview as a result. I saw that he tried to do something about the penalty kick, but Kevin Dix stood in front and blocked him, Vavro told Bold DK, It is the second time. And then on our track? To me, he is a clown. He has the mentality of a child when he tries something like this again. In an away game. One thing is at home in the 97th minute, but here in the first half. I don't understand him trying to do that. Lucas Larriger, who scored Copenhagen's third goal, revealed in a separate interview that he exchanged words with Garnacho after believing the Argentine had gone down too easily under a challenge during the match. Sometimes people in the big clubs have to bow their heads a little, said Larriger. 
just know that they are human too. There is just a situation where I take the ball from him inside the field, where he throws himself, and then I tell him some things that are not so nice, but still with respect for him as a person. It just doesn't suit such a man. And then they need to know. Again and again. World Cup-style VAR is set to arrive in the Premier League next season. Club bosses voted against semi-automated offside technology and its limb-tracking cameras last summer, despite it being installed by top-flight clubs in UEFA competitions. But recent events appear to have changed their minds. Sunsport has been told that Premier League bosses have already spoken to a number of companies who could also provide chip-in-ball technology. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag furiously claimed two of Copenhagen's goals should not have stood in Manchester United's damaging 4-3 defeat on Tuesday night. He said, We conceded two goals before halftime which should never count. The first is offside, a player is in front of Andre Onana. That is in four games, four penalties against us, and I say three are very debatable. I'm very disappointed about such decisions. The game is never meant to be like this. This has nothing to do with football. Meanwhile, Paul Scholes pinpoints key moment that killed Manchester United in the Champions League. Man United have lost three of their first four UEFA Champions League group matches this season. Former midfielder Paul Scholes believes last month's 3-2 defeat by Galatasaray at Old Trafford is the result that Manchester United could end up ruining as they face an uphill struggle to make it into the Champions League knockout stages. The Reds were beaten for the third time in their opening four group stage matches on Wednesday night, losing 4-3 to FC Copenhagen at Parkin Stadium. United led twice, taking both 2-0 and 3-2 leads, only to collapse inside the final 10 minutes. Substitute Rooney Bargaji scored an 87th minute winner to complete a dramatic turnaround just four minutes after the Danish side had clawed themselves level for a second time. The result leaves United bottom of Group A with just two fixtures remaining. Despite that, United can still qualify for the last 16, but will almost certainly need them to win both of their remaining matches to do so. United face Galatasaray in Turkey later this month before welcoming Bayern Munich to Old Trafford in December. The Reds were edged out by the Turkish heavyweights at Old Trafford on match day two, despite leading twice. And for former United A Skulls, it was that home defeat that has left his old club's hopes of progressing to the last 16 hanging by a thread. It is going to be very difficult to qualify from this group, Skulls told TNT Sports. But like I said before, you can go to these places, like Copenhagen, and get beat. That is not the biggest shock in the world. It is those home games in the Champions League group, as Owen Hargreaves mentioned before, that you have to win. Get your nine points, scrape a draw, away from home, and ten points gets you through. They have now got to go to Galatasaray and win, which they probably had to do anyway, so nothing much has changed. But we know Galatasaray have more quality than what Copenhagen do. He added, You can always go to these grounds and get beat. The biggest mistake they have made is getting beaten at home by Galatasaray. That's killed them.